Hello dear children, welcome back to your favorite subject mathematics. And today's topic is multiplication two digit number by a one digit number. So today we are going to see an example of two digit number by a one digit number. Okay, let's move to the board and we'll have a examples of two digit number by a one digit number. The first one is 11 into 1. 11 into 1. So the first step is you have to write the place value. That is 1's place and 10's place. Okay. The second step. So as I told you in the previous class, I told you to put the arrow mark. So this uh, will method will help you to solve in the two digit number. Okay. That how it will help you. I'll show you. Okay. So here first we have to write the ones place and tens place. Then the next step is put the arrow mark. That is that shows this arrow mark shows to down to up. We have to do. Okay. The first one. One ones are. How much children? One ones are one. Right here. So again we have a one more number in a tens place. So what to do? How we have to do? We have to go now cross like this. Got it? One ones are one. Again one ones are one. That answer we have to write here. Okay. So here first down to up. Again down to we have to go to the tens place. Got it? Yes. Let's move to the second example. That is 11 into 2. 11 into 2. What is the first step children? We have to write 1's place, 10's place. Then second step is put the arrow mark. Then start finding the answer. 2 ones are 2. Okay. Next from down to we have to go 10's place. That is 2 ones are again 2. We have to write exactly below the 10's place. The answer should be properly. You have to write the answer according to the place value. Okay. The next example 12 into 3. 12 into 3. Write a 1's place and 10's place. Then put the arrow mark down to up. 3 twos are how much? Yes, 3 twos are 6. Okay. The next from here to here we have to multiply. That is 3 ones are 3. When we will put the arrow mark, then it will be a very clear you that from here to here we have to find out the answer. Then from here to tens place we have to go for the to find the answer. Okay. So 3 twos are 6, 3 ones are 3. The answer is 36. The next one. 13 into 1. Write the ones place, tens place. Then down to up. 1 threes are 3. Then here to here. From ones place to tens place cross we have to do. So 1 ones are 1. Write in a tens place properly. The answer is 13. The next one. 22 into 1. The first step is write ones, tens, then one twos are, one twos are two. Then again one twos are from here to here, one twos are two. The total answer is twenty two. The next one, twenty two into three, twenty two multiply by three. So write the ones place and tens place. Three twos are. How we have to find out? Yes. From below to up. Three twos are six. Again. Three twos are six. Write it properly. The next one. Two 
23 is a sorry 23 into 1 23 into 1 the first one is 1's place 10's place the next is 1 3 is a 3 again 1 2 is a 2 the total answer is 23 1 3 is a 3 1 2 is a 2 the total answer is 23 the last example is 12 into 3. 12 into 3. So, write the 1's place and 10's place. The next one is from down to up. 3 twos are 6. 3 twos are 6. Then again, cross you have to go. 3 1's are 3. Exactly below the 10's place, the answer should be return okay here also ones place and here tens place the very important is you have to follow the method kindly don't write the direct answer because here you are going to learn thoroughly so here you need to be perfect so first standard here here you are going to learn this all the steps when you will go to the higher class then it will help so by that time you no need to use these symbols and all directions. Okay. So arrow marks not necessary to use in the future. So just I am trying to make you to understand in a simple way. So dear children. So learn the sums. Learn the tables and practice the sums. So related to this topic I am going to give you some homework. Okay. Try to find out yourself. So here are the some homework student. So the first one is 33 multiply by 1, 32 into 2, 22 into 2, 42 into 1 and 44 into 2. So find out this answer properly and very important is yes you have to learn the tables. Be thorough with the tables children so it will be very easy to solve the sums. So, see in the next class with the exercise. Take care and bye-bye.